Hi, welcome to Nomi's Academy. In this video, we are going to learn the rules of differentiation. Today, we are going to be looking at the fourth rule, or yeah, the fourth rule, which is the product product rule. In the previous video, I've explained sum and difference rule, chain rule. So today, we are going to learn the product rule. All right, when or if y is a function of the variable where u and v are separate functions, they are separate functions, then the derivative then the derivative dy over ds is given as u multiplied by the v over the x plus v multiplied by the u all over the x. So this is product rule. We use this in solving functions in this form. Mind you, you always have two separate functions that are product of themselves. All right, let's pick the first example. Example one, find the derivative of y equal to one plus three x plus two x squared and 2x squared plus 1. Now you can see we have two polynomial functions that are product of themselves. Two polynomial functions that are product of themselves. So from here solution we can take from here let u equal the first function 1 plus 3x plus 2x raised to the power of 2 and v is 2x squared plus 1. Now, we are going to differentiate u with respect to x and then differentiate v with respect to x. So that will be the u all over the x is equal to differentiate 1, you get 0. When you differentiate a constant, the result will be 0. Differentiate 3x, the answer will be 3, plus differentiate 2x squared, the answer will be 4x. Then we move to the next, the v all over the x. So differentiate 2x squared, you get 4x. And then differentiate 1, the answer will be 0. So we have the u over the u over the x and the v over the x. So now in this case, we say using product rule. We have u, we have v, we have the u over the x and the v over the x. Now product will state that the y over the x, which is the derivative, is equal to u the v over the x plus v the u over the x. So we are going to substitute these four things, these four things in the formula. In the formula, so that will be the y over the x is equal to what is u? Our u is this, the function, the first function, which is 1 plus 3x plus 2x squared, that's, it, that's u. Then what is the v over the x? The v over the x is 4x. So we have 4x multiplied by 4x. Then we have plus. What is v? v is 2x squared plus 1. And then the u the x. The u the x is 3 plus 4x. So you can see we are substituting the four things we have into the, 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 the rule, the product rule. So the u the x is 3 plus 4x. So let's go to the other place. 
and simplify the derivative. The y over the x is equal to 4x is going to multiply throughout the bracket. 4x times 1, we have 4x. 4x times 3x is 12x squared. 4x times 2x squared, we have plus 8x raised to the power of 3. Then, we can also expand this. 2x we multiply through. So that will be 2x times 3, we have 6x squared. 2x times 4x, we have plus 8x raised to the power of 3. And then 1 times 3, we have 3. And then 1 times 4x, we have plus 4x. So we can still go further to simplify the result. The y over the x is equal to highest term we have 8s cubed plus 8s cubed is 16s cubed according to the power of x in descending order. So 16s cubed, then we pick the next one 12x squared and 6x squared. That will give us 18x squared. Then the next thing we have is x. 4x plus 4x is x. And then the constant is 3 plus 3. So this is the solution to the problem given. This is the solution. Alright, let's pick the final example. Example 2. Find the y over the x for y equal to 2x plus 1 exponential x. Alright, as you can see from the problem given, the first or what we have in the bracket is a polynomial function and then we also have an exponential function. So we have two separate functions that are product of themselves. All right, to do that, we now say solution let u equal to 2x plus 1 and v equal to exponential x. Differentiate u with respect to x, you have du over the x equal to, when you differentiate this, you have 2. Differentiate v with respect to x. When you differentiate an exponential function, you still get back the exponential function. So we have exponential x. Alright, the next thing we need to do is to use the chain rule. Using chain rule. And chain rule state that the y over the x is equal to u the v over the x plus v the u over the x. So slot in these four parameters in the rule or in the product rule, and that becomes dy over dx equal to, what is u? u is 2x plus 1. dv dx is exponential x plus v is exponential x and du dx is 2. So, to open up, dy over dx is equal to Exponential x times 2 is 2x exponential x. And exponential x times 1 is exponential x plus 2 exponential x. Alright, to continue the solution, we can add this together and that will be, that will be 2x exponential x plus 3 exponential x. So what is common between the two terms? What we have as a common term there is exponential x. So we have exponential x into 2x plus 3 as the final solution to the problem. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.